Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top five jobs in the Air Force. Now, this is entirely my opinion. You could think, dude, Kyle, you are so far off with what the best jobs are in the Air Force. You don't even know. Comment down below and let me know what the top five jobs are in the Air Force in your opinion. So do not hold back in the comment section down below. Now, I served a six-year contract in the Air Force and I separated at the very end of 2018. My job was also aircraft structural maintenance. We're going to go ahead and just jump right into the fifth best job in the Air Force force in my opinion and that is administration bro you're picking non or jobs for your top five jobs well yeah i was maintenance and we got worked like dogs from what i've heard from people that were admin they had a pretty good experience it was pretty chill and at the end of the day no matter what job you are you get paid for your rank so an e3 in admin gets paid the same as an e3 in aircraft structural maintenance so when i was working 50 60 hours a week and i'm coming home covered in hydro fluid and oil and grease and then you have admin getting off early almost every day and going home and has a pristine uniform they're not dirty or sweaty yeah that sounds pretty good now i'm not saying that admin doesn't do a lot of work admin doesn't do a lot of work compared to like other jobs and you're getting paid the same so i'm like cool i'd be fine with that admin people fire back let me know why you guys do more work than other people in the air force i would love to hear it i'm sure other people would too now you're probably watching this video because you're thinking about joining and you want to know what jobs should i put on my list with my recruiter or you're currently in and you're like yo let me see what this lame dude on the internet said for his top five jobs just so i could roast him and tell him that he's wrong i'm fine with that go for it either way you probably know somebody that is joining or if you're joining yourself you should know about Sandbox. Friends and family can send you a letter from literally anywhere. All they have to do is use the Sandbox app or use the website online, type up their letter and hit send. Your loved one will get tracking. It will include the message that they wrote, a photo if they choose to include one, a piece of paper for you to write a message back. And it also includes a pre-addressed envelope. All you have to do is add a stamp to that letter and mail it back to your loved one and they get tracking for your letter back to them. That was literally my favorite thing about Sandbox was being able to know when a letter from McKenna was going to arrive in my mailbox. So if you haven't told your friends or family about Sandbox before you leave for basic training, you need to get on that. Be sure to use the link in the description below. All right, now let's get back to the video. Now the fourth best job in the Air Force, in my opinion, is non-destructive inspection. Now this is actually a maintenance job, but non-destructive inspection has the acronym of NDI. NDI secretly stands for not doing it or no dirt involved so as you can tell you're probably not going to be coming home soaked in hydro or oil or grease or sweat now i'm not saying that ndi doesn't do anything but they didn't do a lot now with ndi you're going to have a lot more repetitive or mundane tasks which make your job seem more easy compared to other jobs now don't get me wrong ndi is an extremely important maintenance job we would not be able to have the type of aircraft that we have today or the abilities that we have today without ndi so i'm not pushing down on them and saying that they aren't a good enough job i put it on my list of top five best jobs one of the reasons why is because you get paid a lot of money as a civilian. Now, if you guys are interested in what these jobs do in depth, we actually have on airmanvision.com, we have all these job interviews or here on YouTube, you can search the job and type in airman vision afterwards. And if we've done a job interview with somebody that's currently in or was in at one point in time, we shared it with you guys so you guys can see what these jobs are all about from somebody that's actually done it firsthand. Now, my pick for third best job in the Air Force is gonna be aircraft load master. Now, this is actually a pretty popular job that a lot of people want and it's not a very big career field so not a lot of people get it now I've met several people that were load masters and they absolutely love their job but I also know some of them that decided not to re-enlist and to get out and become a civilian again and pursue a different career but overall I've never heard anybody that was a load master talk bad about their experience as a load master even if they decided to not continue pursuing it it's a lot harder if you have a pet and you're single like if you have a dog or a cat and you have to constantly keep going away for a week or two you got to find people to watch your pets so like it's probably not the best idea to have a pet if you're a load master or a family because it's going to be really hard on your spouse especially if you have kids it's going to be even harder because all the work is going to be on them because you're going to be away a lot load masters travel all the time that's their job as they load the aircraft and they fly with the aircraft there's not really a set schedule for load masters you can't expect to be i'll be home for a week i'll be gone for a week i'll be home for a week gone for a week that's not going to happen it's going to be all over the place so there's not much consistency so if you do have a family you're going to have to have a family that is very resilient and can handle you being gone all the time or at least on a sporadic schedule. But in my opinion, that's also one of the best perks of the job is that you get to travel so much. The amount of money that loadmasters make, one, great perk. Two, the amount of travel that loadmasters get 
And then when they land, they might be like, we're here for three or four days. You guys don't need to check in until the day before we're going to load up. So then they're on vacation for three days. Such an amazing opportunity. The amount of travel that load masters get to do is unreal. Public affairs is in my opinion, the second best job to get in the Air Force. I'm interested in videography and photography. So I think that it would personally be an awesome job because that's what I did the whole time I was in the Air Force, just on the side. And that's what I did for years before I joined the Air Force. That's what I already do here on Airman Vision. So I think being able to do that for the Air Force would have been an awesome opportunity. Unfortunately, I was maintenance, completely different opportunity. But I think if you were interested in videography or photography, becoming public affairs in the Air Force and having access to all the equipment that they are given an issue, 10, 20, $30,000 worth of equipment that you get to learn on and practice with and shoot with is an amazing experience and opportunity, especially if you wanted to use it as a stepping stone and then get out and start your own business or do photography or videography. Plus, I think just being around super creative people would be awesome. I was maintenance. It was not a creative field. There were a lot of people that were just very like narrow-minded and it was very frustrating for me because I'm obviously more open-minded and a creative person. Now my number one pick in the Air Force, and this was a toss up between public affairs and this job, I wasn't for sure which one to put, but I ended up putting this one as the number one, which it might be a surprise to some of you guys because I feel like a lot of people that are joining probably have never even heard of this job or they've read it and they're like, that doesn't sound like anything I wanna do, I'm good. Aviation Resource Management also known as ARM. Now, what you do in this job is you essentially work with the pilots and you make sure that they're signed off on all of their paperwork, that everything is good to go. So you work with pilots all the time, which is one, huge for connections because you're gonna meet a lot of high profile people in the military. And also you're gonna be able to talk to them like one-on-one -on -one all the time. Most people in the Air Force don't talk with officers all the time because for instance, I was in maintenance and we had like three officers in our unit of like, 400 people. But if you're armed, you're dealing with pilots, which are all officers all the time. You're getting a lot more professional experience, in my opinion, that can help set you up on the outside. But from the people that I know that have that job, they absolutely loved it. The connections were amazing, but they also were given a lot of time to go to school or volunteer and do a lot of things of personal growth. Now the work schedule sometimes can fluctuate because the flying schedule at certain bases can change a lot as well. So sometimes you might be coming in at two in the morning or sometimes you might be just coming in normal nine to five. So that is one of the downsides to this job is the schedule isn't very set. ARM, it's one of those little known secrets about the Air Force. I think it's one of the best jobs, if not the best job in the Air Force on my list of top five jobs to have in the Air Force. Now I know that some of you guys are probably like, one, I don't even know what ARM is, or two, you're completely wrong. None of these jobs should be on the top five jobs in the Air Force. If you disagree, again, do not be shy. Comment down below, let me know some random dude on the internet why I'm wrong about what the top five jobs in the Air Force are. I would love to hear it, everyone else would too. And be sure to check out our other videos of top five Air Force bases overseas and top five Air Force bases stateside. So we'll link those in the description down below and we will see you guys in another video.